And now, finally, if you're born in the year of the pig, how do you find your soulmate? Who is your soulmate? Not just romantically, but also in business. Who can you meet that will unleash your actual true financial potential? And when, when I say financial true potential, I don't mean an increase in income of 10% or even 50%. I'm talking about life-changing wealth, where the pig literally is the most prosperous of all the 12 zodiac animals with the least amount of effort. The least amount of effort to prosperity or wealth ratio. Um, sure, rats, because they're industrious, they're strategic, and they're leaders, uh, can become more wealthy, but they're working literally 10, 12, 14 hours a day. The pig, uh-uh. The pig plays 10, 12, 14 hours a day, and yet is almost as rich as the rat. Uh, who would you rather be, really? Uh, so who do you have to meet to make that happen, though? Because in and of yourself, while you are well-fed, while you are well, in, in the lap of luxury most of your life, there will be hard times. And there will be hard times when you're younger as well as a pig. Uh, until you meet just the right person that unleashes your full potential. Again romantically, so that you can meet your absolute dreamy soulmate, so that you can get married or have kids or whatever you want to do, and also in business. Uh, and it's like this. The pig needs to meet the rabbit or the sheep, and I'll tell you how those two are different and what they, what they do for you and why you need to pick real carefully. If you can only pick one, for instance, business partners, you can have three business partners, right? So if you're a pig, and you want business partners, you want the rabbit and the sheep, all three of you together. Because then you make an unbeatable wealth combination. But uh, you can't really marry a rabbit and a pig, can you? Unless you change religions. In which case, you should kind of know what the pros and cons of uh, marrying a rabbit versus marrying a pig or uh, marrying a sheep are, right? Okay, having explained this much, stop. Because if you think that you are born in the year of the pig, you're not. 5,500 years ago, when the Yellow Emperor, or Buddha, um, wrote down the rules and the laws of the Chinese zodiac, he based it on the position of the stars and the planets 5,500 years ago. Uh, the planets move, guys. The stars change position. It, even the stars move. You have to readjust and recalibrate the Chinese zodiac every couple decades. And it's just not been done for 5,500 years. An emperor about 2,000 years tried to do it, but um, actually he wasn't an emperor. He was a duke uh, in China and he, he got shot down by the emperor. So what do you do? Go to futureview.app, enter your birth date. And whatever it says, whatever animal it says you are for that year, that's your actual Chinese zodiac animal. It is. That's your actual correct animal. So, but what if it's not the pig? What if it, it, it won't be? Uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. You will find all the other videos and find the correct animal for yourself so that you'll get the actual accurate, cur and you'd be amazed. You'd absolutely be amazed at how precisely and accurately defines you and describes your entire life. Otherwise, you're going to get the wrong prescription and it's, it's going to do more harm than good. Having said that, now, if you've been to FutureView, futureview.app, and it, the app tells you that you are indeed a pig, then this video is for you. So now, as a pig, what's the difference between uh, being in a romantic relationship with a rabbit and a sheep? Or a business relationship, you can have all three. So let's start with a rabbit. The pig will find a way to be in luxury, in opulence, and enjoy life slowly in any situation. You could literally be three months late on your rent and still enjoy life. <laughs> you could literally, outside there's this real fat guy with, with a mustache uh, chain smoking, hooking up a, a chain a chain to your bumper of your car, repossessing your car, and you can still be enjoying life. That's a pig. 
But wouldn't you rather enjoy life um, with a Bentley and a Ferrari? You yourself are lucky, but there's only one animal that's luckier than you are, and that's the rabbit. The cool thing is, you don't like doing too much work, and the rabbit doesn't like doing any work. But oddly enough, when you're together, things just fall into your lap. That's because you have the second most amount of luck in all of the Chinese zodiac. The rabbit has the number one most amount of luck. So you put the two luckiest signs together, and things will just naturally fall on your lap easily. And most of the time, it'll happen through the rabbit, and the rabbit will get lucky through the dragon and the tiger. But you need to stay away from both the dragon and the tiger. You just need the rabbit to interface and bring all the good luck and bring all the, all the stock picks, all the real estate picks, all the um, passive business ideas. Let the rabbit do it. And you just, every once in a while, you give the rabbit a little push. You give the rabbit some help. That's it. Let the rabbit take the lead on that. And whatever the rabbit thinks, just, just go for it. Back the rabbit up. That's how that works. Now, what about the sheep? Now, here's the thing. If the rabbit's not going to do much work, and the pig's not going to do much work, aren't there cases where you actually have to do some grunt work, some actual work? Well, sheeps don't do any work, but you know what? Sheeps constantly provide value, and the male version of the sheep, which is a goat, does work. Goats are load-bearing animals. So if you're female, and you don't just want to rely, if you're a female pig, and you, you, you love luxury, and you just don't like working, you're kind of the arty, artsy type, and you love putting up pictures of everything you do on Instagram, and you're the female pig, you might want a male goat. Because the male goat will do the hard work to provide for you and create a, a situation. And if you're a business owner, whether you're male or female, you're, you're the CEO, you're the boss, you're the founder, you're a pig, uh, somebody needs to kind of do the work. Get yourself a goat or a sheep. Um, women, sheep, will provide for you well they'll provide um, like shearing sheep the wool keeps you warm but you can also shear goats goat's hair is um stronger than sheep wool anyway so use the goat hair and then put stuff on the goat so that the goat can carry stuff for you whether it's accounting whether it's customer service whether it's building stuff whether it's managing the supply chain whatever it is the goat should do that for you and between the three of you now, obviously, in a romantic situation, you're going to have to pick, do I, want, do I want someone that's just always lucky, or do I want someone that actually works hard and provides for me? Mm, that's your pick, if you can only marry one or the other, unless you change your religion again, uh, unless you're a woman. I don't know many women religions where they let you marry two men. Who knows? Maybe they exist now. It's, it's a woke world. Uh, what about your enemies? Ah, you need to, you know, it's funny. A lot of the Chinese zodiac uh, compatibility matrices or compatibility tests say that the pigs and tigers are uh, soulmates, match made in heaven for each other. Um, that's actually only true for the tiger. If a pig and a tiger are soulmates, it's only true for the tiger because the tiger will eat the pig. The tiger will take everything of yours that you enjoy, will take all of your wealth, and will just eat you alive. That makes sense, right? Tigers eat pigs. That's what they do. So if you're a tiger, you should be in a relationship with a pig, unless, be, but that's, it's not even karmically bad, except for the fact that you're humans. So there is a certain amount of karmic. If you're a real tiger that eats a pig, I mean, you're not going to get any negative karma from that. But if you're a tiger human being that eats up and destroys a, a pig human, there's um, karmic repercussions. So I don't recommend that relationship for anybody unless you really need a, a, a temporary in, instant fix solution. And then you're going to pay back the pig a hundred times uh, what you took from the pig. And you're, you're, paid, you're, you're a tiger and you're willing to deal with the consequences of eat, taking advantage of the pig. That's up to you. But that's what will happen. And you want to stay away from the snake and the monkey. So how does a snake ruin a pig's life? 
How does a monkey ruin the pig's life? I don't go into those things in these videos. If you actually are in a relationship with a tiger, snake, or monkey, there are, and let's say you're in a contractual business relationship. You signed a contract and you can't get out. Um, one of these contracts could be marriage itself. You're married to these people and you just can't get out of this relationship. What do you do? There are actually karmic remedies. There are actually chi uh, and feng shui remedies that will minimize if not if not shield you all of all the negative aspects of this relationship and o and only bring out the nest egg type golden egg pluses because that's the way the yin yang works you have a big white nike swoosh and then you have a big black nike swoosh but inside there there's a really intense concentrated white dot and inside the white nike swoosh there's a beautiful, concentrated, intense black dot. Even in a relationship with your worst enemy, you can find a golden egg. That makes it all worthwhile, ironically enough. For, for, on a day-to-day -day basis, it's a grind being with someone that you're actually not well-matched for. But in the long term, um, you can actually get quite far ahead. And there's many instances where I could give you, but this I don't want this YouTube video to go too long. So now you have to ask, okay, where do I get these remedies and solutions? Futureview.app. Go to futureview.app and you'll find that you can download the remedies for how to perfect and complete horrible relationships. And more importantly, let's say you're not in a relationship and you want financial success. You want to be in a passionate romantic relationship. And you say that if I'm a pig, I should meet a rabbit or a sheep. How? Where? Futureview.app. It's the only Chinese astrology, Chinese horoscope website that actually says, wait, did you say you were a pig? Oh, here, look, here's a rabbit for you. And why don't you meet this person? Because this person is a sheep. Why don't the three of you get together and start a business or something. We actually introduce you to one another. How would you like to actually meet your match that will unleash your true potential and your life's true potential? Wouldn't that be amazing? Futureview.app. And help me out to grow this YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this, share it on your Twitter, share it on your Instagram, um, TikTok. Tell people about us, because that, again, brings you good karma. All the best to you this year.